All right, what's up, everybody? Back with another mod. This time, it's going to be on the um, Pokeball. Basically, it gives you a Pokemon ball, and you could throw it at a mob, like a, a pig or something, and then it captures the pig. And then when you when you throw the Pokeball again, it uh, spawns the pig wherever the Pokeball hits. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you this. I use it to like if I want to put a pig in my house or something. So I just capture it and then just throw it in my house. And then I'll have it in my house. Why is this not? Oh, there it goes. Is this launcher slow for you guys too? Because I notice this one's really slow to launch Minecraft. Wow, there's another one open. Alright. So let me show you this mod real fast. This one's really simple. my world load up um capture this cat so as you can see the cow just disappeared pick it back up and now the cow's over there um, you can capture multiple animals as you can see down at the bottom when I pick the pokeball back up there's a green bar that's telling me that I have an animal or a mob in there See if I can find one more animal. I don't know, I can't find it, so go like that. Now the cow and the chicken spawned over here. And kill this cow really fast. Cause I don't like that cow. He looked at me a funny way, so I'm gonna kill him. Oh, that failed. He was supposed to fall down, but he th he's like trapped up in there. Okay, so I have a, I have a cow coming out of my destroyed tree house. Right, so let me go ahead and show you how to craft this. This uh this takes quite a bit of uh not necessarily rare materials, but not that easy to get materials. So you're gonna need three redstone, two obsidian, one diamond, and three iron. And you're gonna place them in there just like that. So you got your redstone, your obsidian, your diamond, and your iron ingots. And there you go. You got your pokeball. So that's it for crafting them. Nice and simple. Now let me go ahead and show you how to install this mod. Oops. Hold on, guys. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and clean out my Minecraft jar, and I'll be back when I'm finished doing that. Alright, so I cleaned out my Minecraft jar, and I'll show you how to install this now. So you're going to need Mod Loader version 5, of, uh, and then, of course, you're going to need the mod itself. So let me show you where to get those from. So I'll give you a link to this page, and this is where you're going to download the Pokeball mod at. So you're going to scroll down past all this and you're going to click on this right here. I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to hit cancel but you're going to, you should probably save it to your desktop. And then for the mod loader I'll give you a link to this page. And you should scroll down until you see the mods and then you see mod loader beta. Uh, make sure you do version 5. Again click on it and then save it to your desktop. So that's how you get the mods. Now to install them, we're going to go ahead and click on start. And if you have Windows 7, you can just type percent app data percent into here and then just click on roaming. But if you're on uh, Windows XP or Vista, you can type in run and then open up run. And then here you will type in percent app data percent just like that and then hit OK and that'll open up your roaming folder then you're going to open up your Minecraft you're going to go into your bin and then you're going to you're going to need uh, WinRAR for this by the way so you're going to click on Minecraft then right click it open with I'm using WinRAR so I'm going to open with WinRAR 
We don't need this anymore. Pull this to the side. Now we're going to open up our mod loader. Drag it over here. Copy all the classes from the mod loader and drag them over to these classes. Hit OK. Now we're done with mod loader. And now for the Pokeball, and drag it over here. And the README text, we don't we don't need to put that anywhere. So just click on the first class, hold Shift, and then click on the last uh, PNG image. And take these five things and drag them over here. Hit OK. And now we're done with that. Now over here, if you see a folder called Meta Inf, go ahead and right click that and do delete files and hit yes um, basically if you leave that folder in there without delete then without deleting it it will um, stop the mods from working and give you a black screen so that's how you install it really easy and this is really fun to mess with so that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time